All right, welcome to our M&M lab. So if you haven't opened your lab sheet, go ahead and go into our classroom. Um, go into classwork here, okay? And it's in chemical reactions unit. And you wanna go down, as soon as my computer loads, um, you're gonna go down and you're gonna find um, the M&M &M balancing lab. And then you open, just click view your assignment and then open yours that'll be up here on the right, the M&M &M balancing lab. And then you should open something that looks like this. And it starts to say that M&Ms are used to model atoms. So I'm gonna run through the first one with you, okay? So you can see I've already put some numbers in here, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. The colors of what you're gonna use are at, up here at the top, and then you have to enter into the boxes. So I'll show you both sides. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, okay? Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with our first one. As you can see, the first one is already written there. It's H2 plus O2 yields water. And it tells you on the boxes up there that these are gonna be brown M&Ms. These will be blue. And of course, these will be brown and blue, okay? So we're gonna set up our M&Ms first. So we have two here, hydrogen. So I'm gonna put two browns for hydrogen. And you can do this on a piece of paper just as I'm doing, or a whiteboard, or even a napkin, plus oxygen, which are blue. And it tells me that there's two, so I'm gonna put two of those. Yields, oops, okay, water. And in water, we have two hydrogens. So two browns plus one oxygen, okay? So that is how I set up my M&Ms. And now I'm going to balance them. And a lot of times I'll draw a line on my paper because I wanna make sure the brown ones on here on my left side of my line are, all, are the same as on the right. So I notice I have two, I have oxygen and hydrogen. Remember we said leave oxygen till the end. So we look at hydrogen and we have two and two. So hydrogen actually right now is balanced. So and now I'm gonna move to my oxygen. We have two, but we have one. So we need another oxygen. I cannot just put this because this would just be oxygen. And that's not what I have on that side. If I'm going to add another oxygen, you have to add the whole entire molecule. So I have to add the hydrogen as well, okay? And so now I notice I have one, two, one, two. But I notice I have one, two, three, four browns, but only two browns over here. So I'm gonna need now balance my hydrogen. So I'm gonna add, and I can't just add one. I do need two, but if I needed three, I can't just add one. I would need to add both of them at the same time. You have to add them both. So now I see I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And now this is balanced because I have four and four and two and two. So my final would be I have two hydrogen plus one oxygen. We don't write one yields two H2O. And that is now a balanced equation. So let's go see how we enter that on our web sheet, our lab sheet, okay? Okay, so here's our lab sheet again. And so you wanna go down and that's where I have, I have two browns here. I've put one blue here with two here. And then I counted up how many H candies or brown do I have. I have four on the left and four on the right. And then I ended up with two and two for oxygen. And yes, this is balanced, okay? All right, I'm also gonna show you um, this one, how to set this next one up. So let me go ahead and show you how we're gonna set this next one up. Once you finish an equation, if you wanna eat your M&Ms, of course you are more than welcome to do that. All right, so let's look at this next one. Okay. All right, so our next equation is NaCl plus C A, oops, not O, C A O yields N A 2 O plus C A C L 2. I can barely even fit it. I probably should have written a little farther to the left. All right, so N A C L, let's rewrite that, plus C A O yields N A 2 O plus C A C L 2. Okay? 
And if you look at the colors on the top, it tells you sodium is going to be an orange, so I'm gonna have one there. Chlorine is going to be a blue, so I'm gonna put a blue there for those. Calcium's going to be a brown. Oxygen's going to be a green. Okay, and we're gonna put our plus and then our yield. Sodium, again, is orange. Oxygen is green. So I have two sodiums and one oxygen there. Plus calcium, which is going to be a brown. Plus two chlorines, which are blue, okay? So that is my first setup, okay? Then I will draw my line and start to balance. I'm not gonna do this one for you. So now you need to add molecules and so that the same number of colors on the left are on the right. Okay, and you want to make sure, I can't, see I have one orange here. I can't just go back. This is not what you can do. Because <laughs> I have two orange here and one orange here. I cannot add just that. That doesn't work. I, if I'm going to add the orange, I also must add the blue. Okay. All right, and so you will finish this equation, balancing this equation. And then you will keep going. There's a few more, okay. As you can see, we have this equation, and you will put the balance one here. I've already put this um, yield sign in for you. Then you'll do reaction three, okay, and four, using at the top these colors, okay? And then you're gonna go down to the third slide here, okay? And again, it'll give you the colors. You do not have to draw them. So you can um, go ahead and use your candies. Um, you can do them, use your candies, or just do them on paper if you'd like to balance these four equations. And then there's some analysis questions on the last page, like what do the M&M stand for? What is the coefficient applied to? Okay, what are the steps that you do to balancing chemical equation? Um, and then there's one more there for you, okay? And then you can go ahead and turn this in. If you have any questions, please let me know.